Let's take a look at this swing in slow motion to begin with. Taking the club a little too far to the inside. A lot of head movement, which causes the topping of the golf ball. I think in order to work on this swing, a couple things we've got to do. We really have to look at her alignment. She's setting up way to the right. Uh, she told me she was intending to go over here. Uh, so we need to work on that a little bit. And then on the takeaway, you'll notice that the club comes pretty far back to the inside. And the left knee goes forward instead of towards the right knee. And the right knee straightens right up. And then right in here, she collapses completely. Um, you've got an arm that kind of does one of these things like this. Uh, we'd rather see the, that arm stay straight. So we're working a couple of things here. Alignment, uh, a little better turn, and more extension in the arms. Looking at this golfer's setup, what I'd like to see is a little bit more flex in the knees, the hips back a little bit more that way. Um, the more our hips are behind us, the better off we are, uh, kind of in a slump position. Uh, okay, but not as good as she could be. So let's move into the takeaway. Again, because she's so upright, the club's going to come way back to the inside, getting her stuck. Mm -hmm. Notice it seems like the hips are moving more even than the shoulders. <laughs> Uh, we want the shoulders to outcoil the hips. Uh, that left foot's coming way up off the ground, losing all kinds of coil. She's raising up. She's out of the swing. She's got nowhere to go now but over the top. There she goes, over the top. Club's going to be way above the swing plane. She's going to try to drop it in. Not too bad. Pretty good hand-eye coordination. But inevitably, a ball that will go a little bit out to the right. There it goes. Uh, she made good contact, good hand-eye coordination. We really got to work on keeping that uh, foot planted and getting the spike shown in that shoe when you're all done. This golfer's got a pretty good setup. I would like to see the hands a little lower, hanging more freely down from his shoulders. Let's go ahead and watch the swing in slow motion. That wasn't slow motion. Let's try it again. My fingers don't seem to be working really well today. Get back. Slow. Okay, nice takeaway. A little lift right there and over the top. And you can see when we come over the top like that, we get a lot of club flex. If you watch right about. So there's the over the top move where the club goes out to in and it creates a flex where the hands go up and the club wants to flex kind of on that line right there. You see that it's trying to droop. He's really overpowering the club in this place. We need to get him to drop his hands a little lower so the weight of the toe of the club won't pull the club down. With this golfer, there are several things going on that I like. Uh, only a couple that I don't like. The uh, right hand, if you look right there, is too far under the golf club, and the club is kind of in the palm of the hand. I'd like to see him move his right hand a little more over the top of the club. Uh, posture looks pretty good. He could be a little more bent over. Uh, more towards 1 o'clock. Notice he's not quite to 1 o'clock on the clock face. Uh, let's bring in the swing plane here. I'll do it in yellow. Let's see what happens here. Let's do the takeaway. Pretty decent takeaway. Hands right there. Good position. It's going to come up. What we're seeing there is a huge separation. Uh, notice... Uh, this angle here. That's entirely different than the setup angle. We need to bring that right elbow down a little bit. And he's dropping the club nicely back into the plane. But you can see his hands are much higher here than they were at setup. Remember they were on the yellow line at setup. So that's that yellow coming over the top. And he's going to get a little bit of a fade there. The ball goes off to the right. And that's what will happen when you're cutting across the ball. Remember the ball curves in the opposite direction of the swing path. At the setup here, we can see that his knees are not parallel to the target line. His right knee is way, for, way much further forward than his left knee. So that's going to put him a little bit off a of plane. Let's go ahead and draw the club line in here. And let's see what he does on his takeaway. Let's watch it. Well, let's just move it to the takeaway position. Taking the club again way to the inside. Up. And you're going to watch a lot of head movement right there. See the head dropping down a little bit? Then he's going to lift the head right back up again. 
So he's not turning into the shot. He's getting no hip drive into the shot at all. This is all an upper body, mostly an arm swing. So we've got to get him turning through the shot earlier because looking at this picture here, we know that he can turn through it. He ends up in a pretty good position. He just needs to turn earlier. Watching this golfer, I think the first thing we're going to notice is a lifting of the club head outside the line. Lifting, 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 lifting and turning. Notice how high the hands have come. He's trying to take the club back by just moving his hands. His hands are going up, 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 but he hasn't turned at all. His hands need to be more along the line that he sets his club shaft on, more along the yellow line. And he's going to come up to here, and he's going to really get that club up over the top. Notice how now it's pointing literally that way. Not, I mean, actually that way. It really is pointing hard, hard, hard to the right. So the club is very inefficient. It's going to have to move all kinds of weird angles. Notice how wide open the club face was right before impact, how high the hands were. Um, that's a typical upper body arm swing. So we're going to move it into the impact zone, cuts across the ball, off to the right it's going to go. Here we have a pretty good setup, a good alignment. Let's see what the club does. We're going to take it back nice and slow. Too far to the inside. That seems to be a mistake a lot of golfers make. They take that club back. At this point, the club should be still pointing at your belly button. And it's pointing way off the target line. Then he's going to route it back up a little bit. Right here it's in a pretty good position. If it would have just got there on the straight back, it would have been great. Then he's going to pull those arms in real close to his body. He loses all the width and power in his swing right there. See that? Watch this. And okay, we don't want to have that happen. And then we're going to slam. We're going to head back down to the golf ball. A little bit over the top move. Which is nowhere else to go when you go under. He does route the club back nicely to the inside. But now the club head is actually inside the line it was on its setup. Hands are high. Uh, the angle of the shaft is wrong. It's going to catch the ball out on the toe. And off to the right it goes. Notice here the club face is still wide open. He hasn't rotated the club. The hips haven't rotated. I don't see any spikes. There's no weight shift to the front mm -hmm. side until after impact. Here we see a pretty good setup. Let's watch it in slow motion. What we see here is just a lot of movement in the hands. Let's go back to the... Right there. You can see he's almost let go of the club with his right hand. And he's really flared the club completely off the swing plane. And he starts doing that right here. That's actually on the way back. If that was on the way down, it wouldn't be too bad. But you see here is a tremendous amount of rotating of the club. We need to get him to take that club straight back rather than rotating it so far and getting into that trouble right there with those hands. Here we see a golfer with too upright of a posture. Um, the angle between the arms and the club shaft would be about 145 degrees and his are almost straight, uh, 180 degrees. Uh, so we need to bring the hands down. In order to do that, we have to tilt over a little bit more, more along the line to one o'clock through the hips. So you got to drop your head down a little bit, get your hips behind you to create a little more balance. Let's go ahead and take a look at the takeaway because you're upright. Not a bad move there, but look at the right, the, the left knee coming out and the left knee coming, left foot coming straight up off the ground, creating a lifting action. You did manage to slam it back down pretty good, but then you're going to chop down on the ball like you're, like you're doing an axe move, cut across it, and the ball will go weak. Um, we need to get you a little flatter on your, on your swing plane and get you turning through the shot rather than just chopping down on it. All right, here we see the lines drawn in. Let's do a slow motion swing to begin with. Nice takeaway, nice return, just a little balance loss. Uh, for this golfer, everything looked really good. Let's just work on balance. Uh, generally, that's a rhythm and tempo thing. 